my Dear Diary devotional video that posted on Tuesday. If you're new to my channel, I do have a devotional video series that I put up every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and we are reading through the book of Psalms together one chapter at a time. But in that devotional, I talk about prophecies that foretold the birth of Jesus, the coming of the Messiah, a thousand years and sometimes even more than a thousand years before Jesus was born. The specific one we talked about in Tuesday's video was found in Psalm 110. But today I want to read one of these prophecies found in the book of Isaiah. And I'm going to read Isaiah 9 verses 1 through 7 in the New Living Translation. Nevertheless, that time of darkness and despair will not go on forever. The land of Zebulun and Naphtali will be humbled, but there will be a time in the future when Galilee of the Gentiles, which lies along the road that runs between the Jordan and the sea, will be filled with glory. The people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. You will enlarge the nation of Israel, and its people will rejoice. They will rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, and like warriors dividing the plunder. For you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod, just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. The boots of the warrior and the uniforms bloodstained by war will all be burned. They will be fuel for the fire. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen.